Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today we are gonna continue to play with the brand new In Colors from Stampin' Up! And I have a fun card designing technique that I wanna share with you. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have two different card ideas to share with you that feature the sunburst technique, or sometimes called the starburst technique. And I have two different ways that you can use this technique in your card making. Now the cards in this video feature the color and contour stamp set from Stampin' Up! As well as the scalloped contours dies. And of course, the five new in colors. Now before we get into the making of the cards, I just wanna remind you that my in color club is starting up on June 1st. So if you are loving these new colors and you wanna get your hands on them, then check out the information on my in color card making club. It's a great way to get all of these fabulous new in colors and some fun card making ideas. So you can click on the link featured in the description below this video to learn more. And be sure Okay, so this first card just features the sunburst technique in a portrait style card. So let me show you how to make this. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna choose your pattern papers. So for these cards, I am using the brand new 2021-2023 In Color Collection. So I have polished pink, Pale Papaya, Fresh Freesia, Soft Succulent, and Evening Evergreen. So those are the colors that I'm using. I'm just using the new designer paper. So you're going to cut five pieces of pattern paper, and each piece is one and a quarter by six inches long. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna take your pattern paper and you wanna line it up in your paper trimmer so that you can make a diagonal cut from corner to corner. So you wanna make sure you line up your paper the exact same way. So I'm lining up this upper right hand corner and the lower left. Now if I can do it either way, I can do the upper left and lower right. Either way is fine, but you want to make sure that you're cutting them all the same direction. Okay, so once you have all of your paper pieces cut, then you just wanna lay out your pattern. So I'm just going to take one of each of these off of the pile here. And this is going to be my pattern. You can do your pattern any way you want. So I'm just gonna do the pale papaya, then I got my polished pink, the fresh freesia, soft succulent, and then my evening evergreen. And then I'm just repeating that same pattern over here. So you wanna lay all these pieces out first and then you can just kinda of set them to the side. So the next thing you wanna do is cut a five and a quarter by four inch piece of cardstock. You can use any color, I just chose to use white. And then you wanna find the center point on the cardstock. So this is the five and a quarter inch side, so the center point is two and five eighths inches. So I just drew a line straight down the center. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate my pieces and we're gonna start by adhering our pieces down this center line. So I'm gonna start with this piece over here. So when we're finished, we're gonna have this kind of look, this starburst or sunburst look, but we're gonna start by adhering in the middle. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just add a bunch of glue on the side. And then we're just gonna take the pieces and we are going to, like I said, start in the middle here. I'm gonna line this very first piece up on that center line. And then I'm just gonna add my additional pieces. And so they will overhang on the top and bottom. And I'm just gonna push them tight up against each other. And then this last one, you might have to adjust a little bit to make sure that you cover that corner here. So it might look a little bit off. But that's okay, don't worry. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do the same thing on this other side. So we'll just add some glue. And then this time we'll start with this piece, which that's why I want you to lay all the pieces out first so that you know what direction they go in. Okay. 
So as you're laying the pieces, you just want to make sure that you're covering this entire white piece of cardstock. And then here's the last piece. All right, so now we have a fun little fan <laughs> that we can use. So we'll just flip it over, and what we're gonna do is just cut off all the excess. So yes, I know this probably looks like a lot of waste, but it gives a really nice look, so it's definitely worth it. And you do need to have you know larger pieces so that you can achieve this kind of sunburst or starburst look. Because otherwise, if you cut your pieces too short, then you won't be able to create this design. All right, so there's all of our pieces. We'll get those out of the way. And then here is our design. This is what we're left with. How cool is that? Now you can use it in portrait style, which is what I'm going to use it for creating this card, but you can also use it in this landscape style. It just depends on what kind of decorations you want to put on it. So let's get ready to make our card. So I'm gonna bring back the original. So the next thing I did is just cut a white piece of cardstock for the base of my card. So this is just your standard five and a half by eight and a half inches. And I scored this eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches. And that's how I created the base of my card. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add some adhesive here. And then we will adhere our starburst or our sunburst to the front of the card. So this is a great way to showcase your pattern papers. And in this case, obviously it's a fun way to showcase these brand new in colors. Now the fun thing about this design is that you can decorate it any way you want to. Now I'm just using the some of the images from the color and contour stamp set and some of the dies that were in that set, but you don't have to use these exact same supplies. You can use any supplies you have on hand in any pattern paper. All right, so that is our main design. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little greeting. So I just stamped a little thank you and then cut out the words here to adhere them to the card. And then I'm just using a couple little glitter gems just to kind of add a little bling to the card. And that's really it. So how cool is that? It's just a great way to use your pattern paper and it's just a fun little design. Okay, let me show you the next card. Okay, this next card idea is again that sunburst design and sometimes it's called the starburst. That's why I keep using those names interchangeably. Um, but we're just using smaller lengths of paper and I have a smaller matting that we're gonna use to create this card. So let me show you how to do that. So this time you are going to start with five pieces of designer paper, which are one and a quarter by four inches. So they're two inches shorter than the last one and that's because we're gonna be using a smaller piece of paper. So I have a white piece of paper that we are going to adhere these to. And this white piece of paper is five by two and three quarter inches. And so since it's five inches across here, the halfway point is two and a half inches. So I just drew a line down here for the two and a half inch mark, because that's where we will start adhering our pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these diagonally, just like I did the previous ones. Okay, so once you have all your pieces cut in half diagonally, I always turn them towards the top so the flat end is on the top here. I'm just gonna take one of each of these and we'll move it out of the way here and we'll create our pattern. So this is how I'm going to arrange the pattern on my card. So that'll be the first half. And then this will be the second half. All right, so let me show you the card. So this is the card that we're making. I am actually just using 
the back side of this particular pattern. So you can either use this side or you can use the back side. So I thought I would change it up a little bit and use the pattern on the back. Okay, so here are pieces. So we can go ahead and bring in this white cardstock here. So these pieces will get adhered to this side and these pieces will get adhered to this side of this center line, just like I did with the last one. So we'll just add some adhesive. So I'm just using some liquid glue And then we'll start in the middle again and we'll line this up. And so I'm just gonna go all the way around and line up all these pieces. All right, so there is the first section. And then I will add some glue on this side and we'll do the same thing on this side. Okay, so you should end up with a design that looks like this. So now we'll just flip it over and we will cut off all this excess that's on the back here. All right, and that is what our design looks like. So I'm gonna bring back this card and I'll show you how to finish off the rest of the card. So the next thing I did is I just cut a five and a quarter by three inch piece of the Evening Evergreen cardstock. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere this right to that piece. And then I'm gonna change up the design a little bit on this. And we're gonna create a portrait style card so that you can see the difference. It's still the exact same measurements to create the landscape. I'm just gonna do it in portrait. And then I'm just gonna change the design a little bit just to give you an idea of how versatile this design is. So we'll go ahead and add this. And then I just cut a five and a quarter by one inch piece of the Pale Papaya cardstock, and then I used a little scallop die on here to create this fun little die cut piece. So I'm gonna add that on here. So here's what the card looks like in landscape style. So it's, it's the exact same design as this. I just used a different pattern for the paper. But if I wanted to make it in portrait style, then I can just use that exact same design, just turn the orientation of the card, and then I can add a different type of focal point. So instead of a sentiment like I did on the other card or this greeting, I can use a floral uh, focal point and just add it to the card kind of in the center here like this. And look at how cool that looks. So it's the exact same design, I just changed the orientation of it and then added a different type of focal point. So we'll go ahead and add a little greeting. So I'm gonna use my same thank you greeting. And then of course, I can go ahead and embellish it. So then I just added a couple little embellishments there. So how pretty is that? Okay, so which one's your favorite? The portrait style or the landscape style? Leave me a comment below and let me know. Okay, so there you go. Now you have two different ways that you can use the sunburst technique in your card making. And if you enjoyed these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the card shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.